Hi guys, today I would like to show you how to make an image wipe transition. It's more like a deep to black transition, like a classical style. But this is more cooler than that. So uh, let's start. I assume that you all know how to use After Effects. So I'm gonna just start by making a new new layer. Damn it! We need new, and then we're going to use the adjustment layer. And we're gonna just uh, short that side and uh, this side also. So we need to make a, and we get let's like like this and then we're going to the effect then transition and then image wipe CC image wipe transition so now we need to make uh, keyframes uh, from from start to the finish from uh, it depends on what uh, the length of this videos I mean uh, of your uh, transition how long it's gonna be like so let's make one keyframe right here like starting by to making it zero and then let's go over to this to the middle and then make it 100 percent so 100 percent and then let's go to the end and put zero again make the zero this okay and then let's see what we got right, it's, it's pretty fast let's make it a little bit uh click u and then it's gonna open all your keyframes and then we the easy is that so we click uh, right click on your mouse and then keyframe and easy is or you can click f9 if you if, if you have a pc or whatever computer um, somehow as uh, my f9 does not work on my mac computer but so that's why i click um, right click i'm right clicking on the mouse so uh, i mean on my uh, Wacom tablet I've been using so let's see um, yeah it's pretty fast let's make it a little bit a little bit slower so it's not gonna be that fast and it's gonna look more nicer than it should in it's it's very nice transition you can use this transition in in many cases like if you making some kind of dramatic movie you know or a modern style kind of transition fading you know and stuff let's see uh, now now it's much better let's see what else oh, no. yeah also you can um, click on after softness I think it's gonna um, soften it a little bit and then we let's see the gradients also it's already it has a luminance Luminance is very good um, in this case, but we can play play with this a little bit. Now, let's see if we use blur. I usually put like five, maybe yeah, five should be fine, or uh, maybe a little bit more. It depends. It's not necessary, but you can use it if you want. Uh, and, and the cool thing, you can invert it if you want. If you click this invert gradient, it's gonna make like this. So let's see how it looks now. It's really nice, also, yeah. Uh, in some kind of like situations on on your travel videos, documentaries, and style, you can make this kind of fading with gradient transition. Also, it's very nice, you know. I like it. Also, let's see um, if we will use instead of luminous, if we put lightness. It's it's uh, it, it first it darkens the light the the light side of this video, so all lights going dark first, and then it it fades to the black. Yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, let's see again. Not bad actually. Um, what else? Uh, we can if you can blue. It's gonna. I think I think it takes the blue channels or blue colors of this video. Uh, yeah, it's a very nice transition. You know, you can play around and see which which better suits you in the, in your situations. You know, in your in your videos. Let's see oh, this one. Oh, yeah. this is pretty nice. Also, it's kind of yeah. 
so luminance also I think I uh, I like more luminance and I don't know scanner looks more nicer I guess yeah yeah guys so this is how to make an image wide transition please subscribe guys please subscribe and make this world more creative and please subscribe and like this videos guys see you later